Dodgers fans who are shut out from watching games on TV got a chance to call foul tonight. Only Time Warner Cable has the rights, and it's been in a standoff with other providers over the fees for carrying those games. So tonight, an L.A. Times columnist gave the disgruntled a place to speak their minds. Olga Espina is live at a venerable watering hole in Echo Park with the story. Olga. Hi, Jeff. Yes, I'm here in front of Dodger Stadium, and if you want to catch a Dodger game, well, perhaps you have to actually come out here to watch it because 70% of the L.A. population cannot watch the games anymore. So a lot of disgruntled fans, they met at the shortstop uh, sports bar in Echo Park. That's one of the few places that is actually airing the game. So they got to watch San Francisco's game tonight. A lot of them saying that what Time Warner Cable is asking for, their fees, that they are outrageous. What do we want? Dodgers! What do we want? Now! A lot of Dodger fans are feeling blue these days. It is the best team in years, but they can't watch the games. When Magic Johnson said to us, he came to the stadium and said that we were going to bring the Dodgers back to the fans, he only gave it to 30% of them. Time Warner Cable signed an $8 billion deal with the LA Dodgers to create Sportsnet LA, the all Dodgers, all the time network. The deal stinks. But right now, it's only shown on Time Warner Cable. All other major pay TV carriers have rejected Time Warner Cable's fees. Corporate greed jumped the shark on this deal, all right? And the fans are paying the price. Leaving 70% of the population in the dark. If the fans were an airline, this would be a hostage situation. Uh, Time Warner would be considered a terrorist. If you're poor and you pay 20 bucks for cable and you want the Dodgers, it goes up more than double just to see the team you love. I mean, that is highway robbery. In a statement from Time Warner Cable, Sportsnet LA is available on fair terms consistent with its value. We are eager for all consumers in the Dodgers footprint to have access to Sportsnet LA and we hope that providers will come on board quickly. I think it's the commissioner's fault because he allowed teams to negotiate these types of deals. So it really falls on him. He doesn't have a backbone. It's all about money and it's terrible. Like We need our Dodgers. We need our Dodgers. I grew up watching them for free. I should be able to see them somewhere for free. So, so far, no deal, but there have been reports of a different proposal, such as an extra $5 to all subscribers, whether you're a Dodger fan or not. Uh, also, if you just have basic cable, it would be significantly higher because it would put in as a bundle. Also, some people have suggested doing it as an a la carte channel, but, of course, a no-go there yet. Right now, sports fans who do not have Time Warner cable and simply just can't get it because they don't live in that area, they say they are listening to the games just on the radio. That's the latest from here. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. And the organizer of that thing tonight, Chris Erskine from the LA Times. All right. Thanks, Olga.